Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Here you are going to find love readings about dealing with twin flames, soulmates, and karmic relationships. Uh, everything isn't for everyone and everybody, so please take what resonates. Um, what's the overall message? Please give me clear and direct messages. Thank you. Please guide and direct me accordingly. Please allow me to see cards that I need to see. So we have the uh, Ten of Wands. Tens talk about um, an end of a cycle. It could be talk talking about transformation. It could also deal about, about a certain situation. Um, here this guy is carrying all these things on his back. Um, also represent burdens as well, like having too much um, on your plate or feeling like, you know, Things are becoming a burden, um, being stressful. Um, some of you guys could be working out here working hard. This man, you know, carrying all these sticks on his back here. Um, we also have the full moon in the back. So, you know, um, full moons are about transformation. It's all about, um, you know, things changing and being different. So, it's overall um, message. So, I guess, you know, yeah, I'll pull another card, yeah. We're going to tell me more. You know what me what messages do my viewers need to hear at this time right now? Or what you know what is it that you want us to know? What do you want my viewers to know at this time? So what do you want the collective to know? Thank you. All right, we have the hermit in reverse. Okay, so the hermit could talk about um you know being isolated, birds moving. To me, it was in reverse, so I feel like. Um, you know, you guys are like isolating yourselves, um, because you you may feel like, you know, you just need to be by yourself to have time to think and understand certain situations or, you know, to under, to even understand what, you know, what you guys are planning out to do, or you could, um, you know, just be kind of just working a lot, you know, focusing on just work. Some of you guys could be guided to... I want to say let go of some things, just, you know, and it could be anything in general. Um, right now, we're not speaking in a love matter, but, you know, that's just the overall energy is what I'm getting. Then we have here the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles talks about skills, learning, you know, apprenticeships. And like I said, you guys could be kind of like really just staying to yourselves at this time and just um, focusing on work, um, bettering your craft. Because y'all y'all out here working hard. This man taking all these, you know, all these by himself. Um, a lot of you guys could just, you know, love the energy that y'all in right now. That's what I'm getting. Like, yeah, y'all, you know, just taking it for what it is. You know, if you got to be by yourself, you're going to be by yourself. If you want to, you know, step out and have fun, that's what you guys are going to do. But you, you guys are about your money right now. Some of you guys could be um a uh, earth sign, Tor Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But um yeah, you guys are the Queen of Pentacles here is um very nurturing. You know, she very luxurious. She uh like likes the finer things in life. Um, you know, she just and the Queen of Pentacles also has everything that they want. So I feel like some of you guys are in a like good place right now. For you guys are, you know, y'all working on your yeah um, money right now. Well, you're focused on the money. I feel like your focus is really kind of on the money. So you could be a um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, uh, I'm getting those two. Um, yeah, I'm getting those signs here coming up. But you don't have to be. You know, like I said, take what resonates, leave what don't. You know. Let's get some, I guess we'll get some vibe cards. Let's do a vibe check. So as I do this reading, I want you guys to think of, you, know, you want to know, connect with me in, in this reading, you know, by just um, focusing on, um, you know, what you're trying to get out of the message. Like, you know, what messages you need clarity about. 
right, let's see, Spirit. What messages do you have for my viewer? What is it? Um, what's going on, my viewer? What is it that we need to know? What is coming? We have soulmate. <clears throat> so you guys can be dealing with a um, soulmate. You have a strong connection with somebody. Um, this could be a romantic bond, but you guys have, uh, or, you know, a romantic relationship, but the bomb is, the bond is tight. You know, you guys have a good chemistry. So there could be someone, there could be someone new coming for you guys that, you know, you may not, you could work with this person. Okay. Let's see what else. Thank you, spirit. Um, I walked away because you were too busy finding faults in me. And I was busy overlooking yours. Okay, so yeah, some of you guys could be dealing with a uh, romantic. This, could, you know, y'all could be in a romantic relationship at this time right now. I don't know. We got two cards coming on. Okay, let's tell me more, spirit. Thank you. A reconciliation. You are going to come back together. Okay, so some of you guys could be dealing with a karmic here. <clears throat> Definitely could be dealing with a karmic. Somebody who you know, walks away from you guys, that you guys let go, and you, and that's why y'all in this energy of, you know, that's why you guys are in this energy of working on your, you know, working on your finances, and just um, being about the money, because you guys walked away from it, could have walked away from a situation um, that you, you know, you giving your all to. For some of you guys, you know, you walked away because um, maybe this person was a burden to you and they weren't helping you financially. And that's why you guys, you know, started, uh, working on your finances and now you have everything that you want. And this person may be trying to come back in because they see, you know, you, you, you know, and it, like it says here, I walked away because you were too busy finding faults in me. Like you were always saying what I was doing. This person, maybe this person, I'm feeling like this person left because they, um, thought, you know, you were always, like, finding things wrong in them, and, you know, but you still had stuff to worry about, you know, or where still stuff that you, you know, were overlooking in yourself, like, oh, you always talking about me, but what about you, I feel like, you know, that was kind of a, a reason why you guys uh, may have uh, stopped talking, because, you know, this person's like, oh, you always got something to say about me or about, and everything that I do, but what about you do? What do you do? What is it that you do? You act like you don't do nothing. That, you know what I mean? That's <laughs> what I'm getting. Barlet, Spirit, tell me more. Control by, control and manipulation of a karmic. Yeah. <laughs> like I was saying. All right, let's see. Spirit, give me one more message. Okay. That one popped up there. Spirit gave us two. My whole vibe is on do not disturb. And um, we have Venus. So love. That Venus is a, um, aspects is about love, beauty, relationships. Um, it's about attraction, um, pleasure, also money. And like I said, you guys could be a Taurus. You guys could be a Taur uh, Earth sign, um, Taurus coming out. But, um, yeah, you guys are... <laughs> where like I said, y'all y'all are where you want to be, you know, and that's why this um hermit is here. You guys, like I said, you guys could be um thinking about you know just being isolated, staying to yourself. If people fuck with you, they fuck with you. If they don't, and that's why you like you know you don't care if anybody fuck with you or not. Your your mood is on vibe. I mean, your vibe is on like your mood and your vibe is on you know don't don't fuck with me. Some of you guys may not even want to, you know, just deal with this person. <laughs> Some of y'all might not even want to deal with this person, this karmic. So, we do have a karmic love relationship going on here. Let's see. Um, maybe I should have kept them out. I don't know. Let's get some more messages. Let's see. I'm going to get the other part of the deck and see what the other part of the deck has to share. <laughs> All right, Spirit, tell me more. Tell me, give me some more messages with, about my viewers and what it is um, that's going on. Knowing you is making me a better person, okay? So, like I said, for some of you guys, you had to get away from this person because maybe this person was a burden to you. So, once you got away from this person, that person made you realize, like, you can do better by yourself. You don't need this person. That's why y'all the queen of pentacles now. You know, that's why y'all that person. 
I wonder if there that makes it better. But yeah, y'all, you guys are that person. I'm telling you, all right. Sorry, tell me more. Ooh. I told them I'm still in love with you. <laughs> so this person wants you to know that um, whoever they may talk to, they're you know they're letting them know like you know this ain't whatever is between us isn't serious. You know I'm still in love with somebody else, so you know we can never be. For some of you guys, yeah. For some of you guys who know, if you know that your person was dealing with someone else, this person is saying, this person, you know, still knows that I, that I still love you. This person also, too, um, that is on your mind if you are um, thinking of someone. This person is not talking to anybody. This person is also, too, working on their finances and um, they're looking at you. <laughs> For real. Yeah, they're looking at you. They um see how like um you know, they see that you're about your money. They see you they find you very uh like very abundant. Yeah, this person sees you very abundant. They know that you're a hard worker, they know that all right, spirits tell me more. <laughs> what what is that, that that you have for the collective spirit? What messages do you have for the collective? What's going on with the collective spirit? Okay, okay. We have mass care. <laughs> you will find out lies, secrets, and or deceptions. The masses are coming off. The masks are coming off. I said masses. <laughs> okay, and then we also have solitude again. So like I say, um, either you or your person could be in solitude. Both of you guys could be in solitude and you know, both of you could be working on yourself, working on your finances. They could be working on their finances because they may have been a burden to you. So, you know, they're working on their self. They know that they have to, um, you know, create some kind of income or they know they have to bring you something better and bigger than what you have already. Because if you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, but these are um, different coins. This, this guy is making you know, a pinnacle that is bigger than what, you know, this queen of pinnacles have already. So, yeah. Dealing with someone, you know, this person very well knows that they have to, <laughs> they have to come better than before. That's why, you know, that that's why the mass is coming off because they, you know, they know they can't play with you right now. It says it's time to not react and pull back. Spend time to reflect and rethink. Like I said, some of you guys don't care if people are fucking with you or not. Like you kind of, you, you okay with being by yourself. You're okay with spending time by yourself to think about, you know what I mean? Just things in general. And we also, reflect came out as well. You're going to have to make a big decision. So, um, yeah, some of you guys may have to have a make a decision between, um, you know, uh, people were just, you know, focusing on you. And that could be a decision that you have to make. Like, woman is off, you know, she's turned from his back. So, you know, she can't really see what's going on. You know, she can't see that he's creating, you know, bigger pinnacles for her. Because she's turned this way, you know, she's turned that way. So she's admiring what she has. You know, and not seeing this. So, for some of you guys you may, that are, you know, in the in the situation of reflecting and pulling back from, you know, someone who has um, burdened you or made you feel like, you know, you are doing too much or, you know, like you were just, they were, they were, they were being a burden to you. You know, you're just working on um, creating more abundance in your life. But uh, you're realizing the truth about, you know, certain things. Yeah, karma is a placing new opportunity into your path. See, like I said, you guys are not gonna. I feel like for those of you, um, when I said, um, I could have, I think I said before, like you, you could be dealing with new love. Um, you may not see this person because the um the hierophant did come up in reverse, 
So this is like coming out of enlightenment. And I feel like, you know, you guys, that's why I say you guys may not see what is, you know, really going in because you're, you're always isolating yourself. Or, you, you know, you've been ice, you've been away from everything. So, you may not see this person, you know, come in. But, Spirit is saying to, um, you know, there is a decision that you will have to make. And, um, you, right now, may be a time where you need to pull back from, you know, everybody and figure out, you know, what it is that you want to do. Last card, we got um, not going out of my way or back and forth. And I feel like that's, you know, your energy. Like, you're not going out your way for, um, you know, this person. If this person, a lot of, you know, have a lot of people that want to talk to you guys. Because here again, you're this queen of pentacles. Everybody sees you as this, um, you know, beautiful person. So, and, you know, for some of you guys, you could just be, um, you know, choose the wrong people, uh, people that, you know, that don't serve you. It's like, you're always doing the serving, but the people, like the people that you deal with don't serve you. So you're like, you know, I'm not going out my way for you when you, when you're not even going to go out your way for me. And I'm not going to argue with anybody that, you know, it doesn't even really matter. And for some of you guys, if this person, you know, leaves you for a karmic or whatever, another karmic that they're dealing with if they've been dealing with someone else you're saying like well you're not gonna pick and choose when you want to um you know when you want to talk to me you know let's get some love messages let's see what's going on in love at this time so what is going on with the collective and love at this time what is going on with the collective and love What's going on with the collective in love? We got um, a healing heart. Okay, so um, it says healing from a heartbreak, um, freedom from toxic relationship or an addiction. So yeah, um, I do feel like some of you guys were, you know, you you guys left a person who was not serving you. That's why we have this ten of wands here. But, you know, that talks about, like I said, stress burdens. We, it talks about, you know, working too hard. All right, Spirit, tell me more. Uh, oh, a lot came out. We have, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is romance is blooming. Fun flirting and want to date. <laughs> like I said, some of you guys don't care if the person does you because y'all doing what y'all want to do. Y'all out doing y'all. Like I said, there may be new love coming in for, for some of you guys. You may not see it because, you know, you've been isolating yourself and not getting out. But um, Spirit wants me to tell you guys to get out, you know, and start date, like going out and dating. That's where you may, you may, if you like, if you do that, you might find a person that you're looking, you know, this person who is, um, you know, off, really, you know, preparing to all um, bring an offer into you. We also have the relationship is over. No second chances. Um, grow, grow and transform your life. <laughs> to me, I just got a message like saying like some of y'all is that in this situation or some of you guys just may need to not go back to the past. Let the past go. You know, you've been enlightened. You you know, it's like um, you work so hard to heal yourself. Like, or you know, you work so hard to mend back your heart. So, um, there's new love coming in, but I feel like you guys have to release and let go of the past, you know, and learn to, you know, that things happen and learn from them, but don't go back to the past. That's why I say no second chances. Don't go back. We also have X here and it says break up, separation, stop from, stop the pattern, silent treatment or abandonment. Yeah, you, I feel like you guys left this this um you know person alone that you need to let go of this person that doesn't need a second chance or you know like I said take whatever resonate y'all take what re resonate but I feel like you guys are deciding to leave this person alone but there is there's a new love coming in now um 
spirit does want me to let you guys know you know still keep doing what you are doing because what you're doing is what's working and you know this uh person that you um look for or you um desire i should say they're gonna come to you you're not you're not gonna have to find them they'll they'll come to you but you have to come out of um you know this uh solitude you know start some of you guys could be you know just really on not being on social media as much as you used to or whatever but spirit wants you guys to come back out um you know the world miss you, misses you you know people like to watch you all right spirit tell me more tell me more about what's going on with my um the collective or what is it that you want the collective to know We have coffin. Ending brings new beginnings, growth, change, and liberation, and transitioning. So, like I said, this per um for some of you guys, this new person that's coming in, that will be coming in, is um you know they're working on their self. They may have also too been in a situation as well as you, you know, heartbroken and the you know just wanting to change and better their life. They could also been coming out of an enlightenment as well. Yeah, but something new and a ab very abundant, something new and abundant is coming. Uh, we also have boat receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Okay, <laughs> let's clarify that. I want to clarify that card because it said, you know, receiving what you need, like, is that, um, Remember, it said something about making a decision. So, it's like, you know, you receiving... And that could also kind of talk about the um, the hermit as well. Receiving what you need. Because that's what he's all about. Receiving, being enlightened about, you know, get, gaining clarity in the situation. We're clarifying the boat. Why is the boat here for my viewers? Thank you. We have the two of wands. Spirit, tell me more. And we have the lovers in reverse. Choices, changing, decisions, partnerships. And the two of wands also talks about partners. Some of you guys, you may um, still be stuck on a person because you haven't got, you know, I guess closure in a situation in a love situation some of you guys can be torn between two you know what I'm getting with this two of wands in reverse torn between two people that's why you know you're sailing moving on some of you guys could be um, willing to move on from a you know a, a old karmic or a old partner an old person that, you know, you used to deal with. Someone that you were passionate about. Here, you know, with, with this lover's card. I feel like you're not, you know, you're not, you may not be passionate about them like that anymore. Like, you still love them and everything, but you're moving on. Like, it is what, it's like, everything is what it is. Like, you're accepting things for what they are. That's what you're being enlightened about. Um, we have keys on a ring. Many options, the chisins, um, unconditionals, um, string alongs, one night stands. <laughs> okay. So some of you guys could be, you know, kind of doing your own thing. Having different places to go. Been going different places with people, you know. Take, take what resonate, leave what doesn't. But yeah, you guys, you know, y'all out here with the options. I told y'all, y'all the queen of pentacles, man. Everybody's waiting for y'all. Everybody want parts of y'all. And for some of you guys, this person may know that. Like, this person may know that they... Um, for some of you guys who are dealing with a karmic that, you know, knows that, you know, they wronged you or whatever, you know, they're coming into realization like they got to get on their shit. Because if they don't, you know, they know people want you. We have lightning, sudden changes, shocking news, surprises, empathy, upheaval, and transformation. So something big is coming, you guys. I, you know, I can't call it. Something big is coming. 
a, a, a new opportunity in love. Like, you guys are in a relationship. Um, out of a hard time. And, you know, good things are coming towards you. You know, this person may not have as much as um, they would like to have. But I do feel like they are passionate about you. They know what they want at this time. You know, they know what they want. And they're working on they're working on becoming um you know better. Definitely, it may take some time. Uh, Pinnacles usually um are in seasons or in years. Not saying that you should wait for this person, but maybe in a couple years. Well, not a couple years, but like in a year or you know maybe in the summertime. <laughs> Let's clarify. I'm gonna clarify the um three of Pinnacles. Let's see. Real quick. Okay. I'm not going to take them. But the Page of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take it actually. Because I'm looking for the Knight of Pentacles to come up. We haven't done um, too many tarot cards. But um, we have the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So this is basically, you know, like I said, this person working on herself. <laughs> They were, you know, they only had three coins here. We actually have, you know, the Page of Pentacles. And he's on his way to delivering. Like, <laughs> what's crazy is, you know, this is the same. Well, there's the Peacock here with with the um this Page of Pentacles. Now, pages talk about bringing messages. So, this person may come to, like, here coming with the offering to offer her something better now this is actually the same coin i think he's coming some okay okay you guys could be dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn or you guys could be a taurus virgo capricorn but i see someone coming back actually in this picture, the, the woman has the coin, the same coin that the guy has in his hand. But he, you know, he was working on it. So some of you guys could have left somebody in the past and they've been working on herself, actually. And they are realizing that they do like you. Like they, you know, <laughs> this person could have been heartbroken in a karmic situation. This person sees that you have options, you know. Like, I think they're just not trying to act dead in a situation. Like, they probably never expressed their feelings toward, towards you. <laughs> yeah, they don't. They may have not expressed their feelings towards you to let you know how you, um, they feel about you. That's why you don't see this guy. Uh, you know, that's and that could be why you guys are not focused on this guy seeing, you know... See, you know, that's why you, you don't see this guy. You know, um, I need some water. Hold on. But yeah, this um guy may not know. Like, you may not see this guy coming with this offering. You may not even take this off offering because there's new love <laughs> coming in. For some of you guys, that's the decision that you guys are gonna have to make. You're gonna have to make a decision. Um, about, you know, dealing with going back to what you uh, left from, you know, the situation that you left or um, deciding to move forward with a new relationship. They're both, you know, it's one of them is one that you've been manifesting, like you've been manifesting to be with this person. And now this person is ready to come towards you. But there's going to be another offering to where you're, you're not going to be able to, um, you know, I feel like you're not going to be able to resist either option. Like, it's like, you want to be with this person, but, you know, you've been waiting on them all this time. And now there's this new person who's, you know, giving you everything that you, you know, that you see is working on, on herself. Like, you know, you see them as being someone... Hey, let's, let's, I'm gonna um, spread clarify this ace of wands. Why is this ace of wands here for my um for the collective? 
Why is this Ace of Wands here for the Collective Spirit? Thank you. Thank you. So we have the Four of Wands. Now, um, some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo. Like, well, I'm not going to say Leo, but you guys could be doing, dealing with a fire sign, like I said. Like a happy, fan, like the home life. Happy, you know, like what's going on at home. This person um, could have a daughter. Have a daughter. You may have kids with this person. Hmm. If you take your kids to the park, this part you could have met this person in the park. Some of you guys will meet a person at the park. Spirit, clarify this Ace of Wands. Why is this Ace of Wands here, Spirit? Thank you. We have the Strength card here. So, like I said, you guys could be de dealing also with a Leo. The Strength card kind of talks about mastering your confidence and having, um, and it's also based on your desires. Tell me more, Spirit. The Ace of Wands in reverse, which is the Ace of Wands to me, is about starting something new, birthing an idea, be, um, creating, bringing creativity, a new beginning. But it's in reverse, so it's like, and then it's um, we have the Strength card here, and it was in reverse, so that's like not having confidence. So, there could be something going on um, in the home life of this person that you may be thinking about or even in yours. Some of you guys could be dealing with, um, you know, baby, like your father, like your child's father, you know, you could be having issues with that, your, you know, with your child's father or, you know, something with the home life or, you know, about family or you know, so even celebrate like a uh, birthday or I don't know. Spirit, tell me more. Let's see. Give me more. What my clarify? Okay. We have the chariots in reverse and the eight of wands. Okay, so you know the chariot. Um, you could be also dealing with a cancer. Oh, God. Yeah, you guys could be dealing with a cancer. Um, So, this cancer may be working hard, going through some things. You know, have um, they could have ghosted you for a little bit because they felt like they didn't have enough to offer, offer you. So, you know, they've been working on their self and they're coming in to offer you, but they may feel like, you know, <laughs> you ain't fucking with them. They also, you know, want you to know that they do like you. Like, you may think that they, this person doesn't like you, but they do. They may not know how to come towards you and express their feelings to you. Like I said, this person could have kids. And he, this person could also be with their the child of their mother. Or, you know, and that could be why you're not dealing with this person. Or, you know, that could be the heartbreak that you're healing from. Mm-hmm. This person may think that you think that you may not want to talk to them no more. That's why why um, the, you know, the relationship is over. They may feel like you're not going to give them another chance because you may have came to them before and told them, you know, hey, like, this is my last chance with you. Like, I'm not, you know, I'm not dealing with this no more. Remember when um, the card came up saying, like, you're not going back and forth with nobody. You're not, um, you know, saying the same thing over and over again. That's why we got breakup separation because you decide you pulled yourself away from the situation. A silent treatment. You're not talking. To, some of you guys aren't talking to this person. There is no commit. That's why the Eight of Wands here is here. The Eight of Wands talks about communications, letter, email, social media. So this person could be waiting for you to, you know, post something or, you know, say, you know, say something. That's why I said you may not be on social media at this time right now. This person is wondering why you're not posting anything. Maybe you might usually post and you haven't posted in a while. But we also have the chariot here. And <clears throat> the chariot talks about confidence, courage, overcoming obstacles. It also talks about traveling. Um, <laughs> for some of you guys, um, you may have... All also um argued with this person there could have been an argument with you and this person about them coming to see you or you coming to see them and that may and you know they probably kept giving excuses actually i'm gonna <laughs> yeah i'm gonna get some um 
messages. And then I'm going to uh, end this reading because this re reading is very, very long. So, Spirit, um, actually, yeah, give me some last message. Let's, um, finish this, but, um, clarify this Eight of Wands, Spirit. Clarify the Eight of Wands for me, Spirit. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here for my viewers? Thank you. Cards fell on the flow. We got new love. So, yeah, you guys um, expect expect new love. I want you, but I'm not ready. <laughs> like I said, for those of you who are dealing with this cancer, this person is um, in a current relationship. I'm, I want to say with their um, the child of their mother. You know, if they have children, it's with their mother. They haven't left the situation. They haven't had a conf confidence to leave their session. It could be because, of, you know, they don't want to leave their kids or whatever. But this person, like I said, this person, when I say you, um, you might think this person don't want you, but they do. And it's the, it says, I want you, but I'm not ready. Okay. Spirit, give me some more messages. I only have eyes for you. Like this person wants you to know, like they only, they only looking at you. Like they don't want nobody else. They know who they want, but they just got to get out this situation. I feel like they just got to get out the situation. Spirit, give me more messages we also have give me a chance so this person wants you to wait for them like like they said they're not ready so you know what i mean that doesn't that's why i say you guys are gonna have a, a situation a decision to make like for some of you guys you are gonna have to um you know deal with making a choice between the person that you've been wanting and then this new love because i hear we have new love here thank you marriage for some of you guys, this person could be married or, you know, got into a marriage or, you know, this, or for some of you guys, this person wants to marry you. They think about marrying you. This time they're going to, you know, do right by you. It's going to feel like a marriage. Give me one last message, Spirit, to end the reading. Thank you. And Spirit gave us two, so I'll take those two. It says, sex with you is the best part. Like, so this person, um, you know, likes you. They, you know, they crave you. Like I said, you the queen of pentacles, baby. That's all about attraction. Venus, you know what I said, uh, Taurus sign. Venus is all about love, beauty, money, you know, okay? And then we have third party. Like I said, this person could be dealing with the, you know, the child of, you know, their child's father or mother, whoever. So, I hope you guys like this reading. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. So that way, every time I post a video, you can see the video. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.